The last story about practical learning is about my practical learning. I am, so to say, a representative of the do-it-yourself community because I wanted to make a plaster we made out of clay on the walls of my own house. And I wanted to do this not only because clay is a good material, but in order to spare costs. So, as an academic, I, of course, have read a lot of books. I have made uh, research um, on the internet, and I have also found a lot of information so that I knew a lot of theoretical background and historical background on clay. But that did not help me to make a successful attempt towards bringing clay on the wall. So I made, it, made a mixture, I brought it on my walls, and the clay fell back. It was horrible. And for months I didn't do anything at all with clay. But after a while I thought it cannot stay like this. So I started to look for a course in the internet. And I found a course here in the Agentur für Nachhaltiges Bauen, Zentrum für Nachhaltiges Bauen in Verden. This course took five days and it was structured in a very practical way. So we learned from the beginning uh, to uh, up to making concrete things, how it feels to work with clay. So we learned to, to understand clay with our hands, to understand it with all of our senses. This was a very important um, experience for me, not only because I learned with my mind, but also because I gained the self-esteem to try it again and to make another attempt to bring the clay on my walls. And after doing this workshop, it really functioned. Another important experience is that I have also reflected whether I could bring my, uh, my experiences and my new knowledge um, forward to other people, if I could transport this knowledge to other people, but for example via pictures or via a blog or via a video. But for me it seemed impossible because what I have learned with my hands is not really transportable into words, not really transportable into pictures.